Hey yogis, welcome to another yin yoga class with Matt. I'm your instructor and today we're going to be working on a lot of good movements. Uh, we're going to start standing up and working our way down. So let's get right into it. So for this practice, you're going to need a bolster or if you don't have a bolster, you can have just a long pillow like uh, Jody has right now. Whatever works, grab something. So our first position, we're gonna have our feet about shoulder width apart, and we're gonna be leaning forward, grabbing our elbows and resting on the bolster. So keeping a slight bent in your knees, not too much. You should feel a nice stretch behind your thighs. And we're just gonna sink in this position, letting our head hang and our body very soft. Just remember to breathe through each position and with every exhale, try to let go of tension within your body. So this is gonna make your head feel a little rush of blood because you're hanging sort of upside down. And that's very good. It's gonna enhance your mental clarity for the day. So just let your body become very relaxed and let it hang and let gravity do the work for you so you have nothing to do at all. And then if you want more of a stretch behind your leg, as you become more relaxed in the position, can strengthen your knees. It should pull a little bit much more in your hamstring. But just find your edge and hold it there. Just a couple more breaths into this position before we move to the next one. And very gently, we're gonna bend our knees, grab our bolster and release it to the floor. We're gonna come back up very slowly. Now from here, we're gonna keep our left feet planted, pointing forward. And the right one's gonna go a little further out to the side. And from here, we're gonna be leaning to our right side Bring our right hand about to our right knee and then twisting our left arm around and behind her back. 
and then we're gonna sink into the side bend. You should feel the big stretch on the left side of your body and inside of your right thigh. You can close your eyes if you can keep your balance in this position. If not, open them up. I have about 30 seconds left in this position. And we can slowly start to come out of it. Very gently. Now, from this position, we're gonna bring back our right foot pointing forward, and we're gonna be in sort of a, a sort of a slight split position. We're gonna place our bolster right in the middle, and we're gonna lean forward, holding the bolster. If you can go lower on your forearms, that's fine. Just kind of rock this position for now with me. Letting your body and your head, upper torso, lean forward and collapse. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible, but a slight bend is all right if you're not that flexible.
few more breaths here. Deep inhale through the nose and deep exhale through the nose. One more and exhale. going to slowly come back up bending our knees and lifting our torso up now from here we're going to move our left feet pointing 45 degree to the other side and we're going to do that side bend we did so leaning down to our knee we're going to take our right arm and flip it around and bring it behind our back leaning to the side this time and you can hold right underneath your left knee for support. This is most of the hard work we're doing today, standing up. And after this one, we're gonna go to the ground. So just try to breathe and ease into it. Now we're gonna bend our knees, go back in the middle. And from here, bring your knees to the ground. With knees together, we're gonna sit on our heels. And we're gonna bring the bolster forward and we're gonna lean forward slowly into child's pose, just to relax the spine. You can bring it about to your forehead Resting your forehead on the bolster with your arms and extending to the front.
And we're gonna slowly walk our hands backwards, coming out of this position. And from here, we're gonna put our hands on the bolster, getting up on our knees, and we're gonna spread them far apart. And we're gonna move the bolster forward, getting on our forearms. This is gonna be a stretch for the inner thighs. So you gotta spread your knees further out. And we're gonna be holding this position. You can bring your forehead to the bolster and rest on your forearms if you wanna be more comfortable. This is really a stretch for the inner thighs. And now for a slight neck stretch, we're gonna rest our head on the right side. You should feel a nice, smooth, gentle pull in your neck. Nothing too intense, just to give it a slight stretch. And now we're gonna twist it to the other side. And we're gonna come to neutral, putting pressure on our elbows and hands. We're gonna walk back slowly and we're gonna bring back our knees together very gently because they've been extended for a little bit. And we're gonna take the seated position. So from the seated position, keeping our left leg straight to the side, the right one inside, and the bolster forward. We're gonna lean forward while trying to keep our hips squared to have this nice stretch on our left leg. And you might feel your body trying to cheat and pull you away to the right to make it easier. You have to kind of square yourself off and remain centered.
And we're gonna slowly come out of this one. Bring that left leg back in. We're gonna extend the right one now. And we're gonna do the same thing, but for the other side, leaning forward on the bolster. Keeping our hips squared. And our body centered to the front. out of it. Now from here, keeping your knee where it is, try to point it forward. We're going to bring our right leg and we're going to cross it over and then we're going to use our left elbow to bring it to our right knee, twisting backwards for a nice stretch in the spine. So you put your right hand on the floor behind and you turn your upper body to the right, looking to the back. can release, we're gonna come back to the middle and we're gonna do the same on the other side. So pointing our right knee forward, bringing that right leg inside. We're gonna cross our left leg over and we're gonna use our right elbow to push on that left knee and to twist around looking at the back of our mat.
then from here we're going to release slowly coming back to the middle. Now we're going to take our bolster and we're going to do a relaxed lying down butterfly pose. So you can face me if you want. You're going to bring that bolster right to your tailbone and you're going to be lowering yourself down on it all the way down and then you're going to put the soil of your feet together as close as you want that to your butt and then resting your arms on the ground you're going to let your head go backwards and your body collapse to the floor so just allow gravity to pull those knees apart and to have this gentle stretch in your inner thighs it's a great position to meditate and really go inward and relax. So what I want you to do here is I want you to dissolve into the floor. Imagine your body melting all the way to the ground. This is how much I want you to release tension and let go of anything in your body at the moment. Now from here we're going to grab our knees and we're going to help them close back together with the help of our hands. And then we're going to extend them forward and out to come to our final resting pause, Savasana. So I want to thank you today for joining us into this practice. If you can subscribe to our channel, that's always much appreciated. Have a beautiful day.
and stay in this position for as long as you want and get out on your own time when you're ready.